I'm Pawan Agarwal, Chief Executive Officer of Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI. So, FSSAI in India is the apex food regulator. You know, we have been established under the Food Safety and Standards Act of 2006 by bringing together several regulations and laws on food, including health supplements, under one umbrella. And we started functioning from 2011 once we had the first set of regulations under the Act in place. In fact, uh, for uh, international brands to bring their food products to India, uh, you know, they require an import license. Import license is very easy to obtain. And secondly, all these products that you bring to India, they have to follow Indian standards, including labeling regulations that we have. And information about our food standards and labeling regulations is available on our website. Uh, so once the food, imported food, it goes through, uh, uh, you know, checks at the point of import, you know, we also do sampling and testing of food products that is imported at the points of import. And that sampling is not done for all foods. It is only done in cases of, uh, you know, uh, a proportion of foods based on risk involved in that uh, food. Uh, so normally 5 to 25 percent of all food products that are brought into India are tested. Uh, so the process for import into India is quite simple. As long as you meet uh, the standards of food in India and the, our labeling regulations. You know, weights and measures, uh, you know, issues are looked at uh, by another ministry, you know, under, uh, you know, the legal metrology division. And uh, weights and measures is that whatever is written on the packet in terms of weight, it, it, it uh, adheres to those values. So they, that is a separate law. And they also have uh, some labeling requirements, but there is total harmonization between the labeling requirements under the Legal Metrology Act and uh, our Act, the Food Safety Act. You know, animal husbandry, they have uh, requirements of animal quarantine. So in case there is a, uh, you know, uh, a live animal that is brought in and uh, that has to be kept or a food of that origin. So it has to be kept under quarantine for some time and they have to, you know, do some tests in respect of, uh, you know, microorganisms and uh, other things that may come with the live organisms into the country. So the animal quarantine requirements are handled by the Ministry of Animal Husbandry and Dairy Inc. In fact, uh, we welcome international brands into India and we want to give our consumers more choice in terms of uh, food that they get in the market. So they are all welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Avik Sanyal, Regional Director for South Asia for Glanbia Performance Nutrition. I would like to today talk about the regulatory services and the scenario in India. Glanbia is one of the leading sports nutrition companies and holds currently the highest market share in India. Our products are completely compliant to the food and safety standards of India under the nutraceutical and the dietary supplement chapter. There has been a sea change in last few years in the food regulations in India and Glanvia strives to make our products completely compliant to the Indian con consumer and customer's needs as well as take care of all the necessary regulations which are ancillary to food and safety for example weights and measures which is primarily concerned with the labeling requirements also at the same time animal husbandry 
which is required for non-vegetarian products. In order to get our products compliant, Glandia with its own legal team and the team on the ground in India as well as our regulatory agency Greenwings worked extensively on the product formulation side, on the label compliance side to make it compliant. Greenwings supported us with their knowledge about the food and safety laws which helped us to look at our labels as well as our formulation and to be compliant to the Indian standards. Not only FSSI, but also from a weights and measures perspective, from an animal husbandry perspective, all the other regulatory compliance are equally important to be doing business in India. And our agency, along with our legal team, are supporting in a great way to make this happen. All the food companies which are coming to India should be compliant to the Indian standards uh, in respect to FSSI norms, food and safety norms, as well as the labeling norms which are very special to India and animal husbandry related other departments if it is a non-vegetarian product. And I'm sure uh, they would be able to work with Green Wings to provide a compliant product for the Indian consumer. High protein is a young and fast moving digital first brand. Um, India is one of our key focuses for the next few years and also where we see that the growth will be for us as a brand um, and finding the right partner in India is the key. The food safety laws in India, they are very detailed and also constantly evolving based on the consumer as well as the market trend. So we found Greenwings as the right regulatory partner for us and they've been working extensively with our compliance team for uh, product formulations, ingredients, product reformulations, the label requirement as per FSSI. Their services are also extending to uh, animal husbandry as well as the legal metrology department and they are equally key for a brand to actually do business in India. So I think we found the right partner.